Hiya, I'm Jasper, and welcome to your video review for Army of One. It's a movie starring literally no one I've ever heard of. I swear these people were just like stunt doubles that were just like, hey, you know what? We know how to do action scenes. Why don't we just make our own movie? And then somebody was like, yeah, I'll fund that. Even though most of you can't act, you'll look really cool punching. Sweet, let's do this. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know any of them. Uh, anywho, as always, I'm going to give you the good, the bad, and the furry. To start off the furry, uh, uh, feel like there had to have been a dog in this. But I don't remember there being a dog in this. Maybe because dogs are expensive. But yeah, I don't think there was any furry in this. Moving on. So, this is a movie where some chick with her husband, in the middle of nowhere, just just go into a random place for vacation, don't really have a plan. They go there, it's full of a bunch of hillbillies, and uh, they kill her husband, and then thought they killed her, but they didn't. <laughs> Biggest mistake of their lives. And so she's just like, all right, I'm gonna fucking kill all of them now. <laughs> and then she proceeds to... I... I, okay, I don't really feel like this is a spoiler. She proceeds to just fuck him up hardcore. This is a movie where, like, she either dies or she doesn't die, right? Like, she's going to go try and take him out, so she either dies at the end or doesn't die at the end. And I'm not going to tell you that part. Um, but, oh man, some of the dialogue in this... I think the dialogue, the writing, I think was 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 probably there. Like, I think it kind of worked for the for the, like podunk hillbilly town that they were going for. Like, I think that that kind of worked. But the delivery of the lines was... I, uh, like I said, I think I think these guys were stunt doubles that, uh, that got to try their hand at acting, and some of them could. Some of them could not. Um, <laughs> I do also think it's funny that this, like, very rednecky, like, terrible people section still had their diversity quotient by having like a black guy on there like really you really think that these people these level asshole people can be like but no 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 we're also not going to be racist <laughs> i don't know i feel like with what these people were doing with their lives and to other people's lives really feel like they also probably would have been racist just saying but i guess yay for not racist bad guys in 2021 <laughs> Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, uh, anywho, what I did like about this movie was the fight scenes. This is why I think that they were stunt doubles, is because, well, were stunt doubles that are the actors in this one, is because there were some long fight scenes where it's, where, like, there, there wasn't any camera tricks that I could tell, but she was just straight up doing these moves and fucking these guys up hardcore all in, like, one take. There was a couple of nice, really long takes, but just in general, the fighting that she was doing was long enough where I was like, ooh, you don't have the budget to do a face replacement. Like, that is you doing that, and and you you did that. Ooh, all righty. <laughs> um, so I really like the fight scenes in this movie. I think that they made the movie. I was very entertained by them, and I thought that they worked. And the motivation worked, and like I said, the dialogue delivery, not so great, but just the how the thing progressed. Like, I found, I found this hillbilly family type thing very believable and the the local government and everything else like i found that generally believable and just the sequence of events i could totally buy that happening other than that one little like oh, but eh, you know <laughs> so yeah i was very this movie was way better than it had any right to be like i don't know who funded them but they made the right choice and i really hope they made their budget back because the fight scenes in this i would say it's the best ass kicking chick fight scenes that I've seen since, honestly, I think they were better than some of the wannabe John Wick female movies that have come out since then. Like, maybe they didn't have quite the number of body counts uh, that, that those ones had, but just the, the long takes and how most of the punches looked like they really hit. There was a couple that weren't in those long fight sequences where I'm like, mm, boy, come on now, you know. Mm. Uh, <laughs> but, but yeah. In general, like, I, I really like these fight sequences, and I hope that whoever, like, the stunt coordinator or the stunt doubles or whoever they were doing with this, like, I don't know, maybe this was just, like, a showpiece for, like, look what we could do, <laughs> because they can, and they should definitely get more work uh, to to have these fight sequences integrated into other bigger budget movies. Because, um, yeah, I was, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this movie much more than I thought I would. I just, I was, I, I stumbled upon it, and I was like, yeah, I'll have that one. 
cleaning or whatever, and then I stopped doing what I was doing and just watched this movie. So I would say, watch it. You're going to have a good time, surprisingly. <laughs> Alrighty, that's all I have for this one. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you at the next one. Bye.